Hello, hello you people in YouTube land. How do you do? Yes, you may remember this place. This is, or we are near Far East Square. And we're heading in here. Previously, we were just here recently to have some steamed rice roll. And the steamed rice roll was good. And are we going to go there to have that again? I don't know. In front of me, the Amoy Street, and behind me is also still Amoy Street. And we're going to head here because the last time I was here, I noticed uh, beside the steamed rice roll store, there's another store that had a super long queue. Lots of people eating. And it's at this place called Chow Ting Teochew Pao Fan. Pao Fan, as you know, is a. I think a few years ago it was a very popular item, and then a lot of stores now open up around Singapore. So this place here is popular, so this is what I ordered. The premium seafood bavan. And let's see whether it's any good. And so this is it. The premium seafood bavan. And you can see the soup here is a clear soup, but it has a genuine tinge to it. Which means, I think, that uh, when they cook the seafood broth here, the soup, I think they cook it with the prawn heads. So I'll be expecting some uh, prawn flavour in it. And as you can see, we have some fried fish there, some sliced fish, you have the rice, and then you also have some kind of like the egg, which they deep fry it, and some prawns. Ooh. So there are quite a few ingredients in there. 1080 okay so basically it's like a seafood soup but i don't know what's so special about pao fan but we're going to taste this soup and let's see how whether it is any good yes so it's basically a seafood soup with rice in it so let's taste the soup that's the important thing so let's dip in look at the soup there Ooh, look at this Yes, let's taste the soup. It smells great. And... Oh! The soup is good. Yes, the soup is good. I'm telling you this too. The soup has a nice deep seafood flavor. Done very, very well. I do like the soup. And this is the fried fish. Uh, yep, fried fish. Let's have some fried fish. Okay. Uh, fresh. Not too bad. Then, but what really goes comes through here is the richness of the soup here, and then you also have the sliced fish here. Let's taste the sliced fish. Oh, fresh! One thing I must say here: the ingredients here they put into the soup is fresh, and the prawn. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Ingredients fresh. Uh, but what's really good here is the soup. The soup has a nice deep seafood flavor. Savory, rich seafood flavor that goes very well with the rice. I do like the rice. The rice is nice. The rice has a you know, rice texture. It's like uh, seafood porridge. Or oh, not seafood porridge. Uh, sliced fish porridge. You know? But one thing also very interesting is, look at this, look at the brown uh, rice there. So I suspect those are the rice that they have poached or make it into crispy. And what I really like is each bite when you take of the rice, you also have the nice firm long rice, but also this crispy texture to it, which plays very well on your tongue. And then you also add in some uh, green onion but okay so I suspect that the main difference uh, for Pao Fan as compared to normal seafood soup is that the rice uh, they put it into the soup and they also put in this like fried rice or this poached rice in there that gives it a nice uh, bite texture to it you know, crunchy texture which gives you know, give you a nice uh, contrast to the uh, rice texture, to the nice flavorful soup, and then the fresh uh, slice of fish or fried fish in there or prawn. 
So, I must say, this place here does make the bow fun very nice. Uh, but how different is it from a store that sells seafood soup? You know, as long as they can cook the seafood soup for a long time, you know, extract the flavors from the bones of the fish, from the prawn heads and everything, I think they can make a soup just as good. But, you know, Bao Fan, this is a new thing that certainly became popular. But, I must say, this place does cook it well. And I am enjoying it. I also like the texture. The crunchy rice texture is very appealing. Also very yummy. Price-wise, because this is a new fat thing, they, I think they do charge a premium for this Bao Fan. So, if you're in the area, you know, you want to eat a good Bao Fan, I think this stall does a very good Bao Fan and it is tasty, very tasty, very yummy. Uh, a bit expensive, but you know, you pay for the quality. It's fresh ingredients. And of course, since the food, the soup is so good, do not waste. Finish it to the last, extremely last drop. Don't waste a single drop because it's so yummy. And unfortunately, this brings us to the end of our food adventure here. I hope you enjoyed it. Yep, so if you like more fun, this is a good place to come. And lastly, uh, yeah, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, support me on Patreon or PayPal if you can afford it. Or watch some of my old videos, check the playlist. And lastly, but the most important thing, the thing that you have to do is to join me for my next adventure, my next food adventure. I will see you all around, guys, girls, and others too. Bye bye. Yes, bye bye. Bye fun, bye bye.